Hello and welcome to the show. President Trump's children proved that family really does come first for the first family as they all turned out to show support for their father as he delivered a speech to his fellow world leaders at the UN General Assembly on Tuesday morning. The president's four oldest children, Don Jr., Ivanka, Eric and Tiffany, all made their way to the UN headquarters in New York City to watch him launch a blistering attack on Iran and China, with the siblings all wearing very somber expressions throughout this speech. Bolstering the group was Ivanka's husband and fellow White House advisor Jared Kushner, while Eric was joined by his wife Laura and Don Jr. brought his long-term girlfriend Kimberly Gilfoyle, who made quite the style statement in a plunging navy dress that almost perfectly matched the design of Tiffany's bright blue number. Indeed, all of the children and their partners were dressed to the nines for the special occasion with both Tiffany, 25, and Kimberly, 50, opting for low-cut blue dresses while Lara, 36, plumped for a high-necked burgundy number. Ivanka, 37, meanwhile opted for a bright white pant suit, which she wore with a pair of pointed toe heels. Both Eric and Don Jr. looked dapper in grey suits, while Jared stuck with his signature navy ensemble, adding a patriotic touch in the form of a bold red tie. The only Trump sibling missing from the bunch was the first couple's 13-year-old son, Baron, who presumably spent the day at his school in Washington, D.C., while his parents attended the global summit alongside the oldest four children. Tiffany's billionaire boyfriend, Michael Bolos, was also present at the event. However, he sat in the row behind his girlfriend and her siblings and in-laws, thanks to a shortage of available seats in their row. Georgetown law student Tiffany had to take time out of her studies to join her siblings in New York, which both Eric and Don Jr. call home, while Ivanka and Jared, having been living in Washington DC since 2017 when they moved to take on official roles in the Trump administration. However, the peer looked thrilled to be back in the Big Apple. If only for a few days, the White House advisors were pictured leaving the Manhattan apartment they once called home with huge smiles on their faces, shortly before arriving at the UN, with Jared even pausing to high-five their doorman on the way out of the building. Their expressions inside the UN were much more somber, however, with all four Trump children and their respective partners looking very cautious or serious as they watched the president deliver a blistering attack on Iran and China, telling world leaders in a global audience that the Islamist nation's bloodlust and Beijing's trade manipulations are testing his patience. President Trump added that nationalism must overrule globalism as people assert their rights. Globalism has exerted a religious pull over past leaders, causing them to ignore their own national interests, he said. Trump adopted an uncharacteristically dour plotting tone. A State Department source said afterward that it was to accommodate translators working in dozens of languages that robbed from his usual fire and brimstone approach to diplomacy and may well have accounted for the serious expressions on his children's faces. His wife, Melania, who sat separately from the Trump children and their spouses, was also maintained a very straight face throughout her husband's speech, having been by his side as he arrived at the UN earlier in the day looking chick in a $3,980 white Gucci coat dress. Tuesday's event was the second UN appearance for mother of three Ivanka, who made it clear on Monday that she wasn't suffering from any post-vacation blues, despite just returning from a fun-filled weekend in Rome where she and Jared celebrated designer Misha Nono's wedding to oil tycoon Mikey Hess. However, the first daughter didn't let any fatigue show as she arrived at the UN looking incredibly chipper while wearing a chick ensemble and a very large smile on her face. Ivanka wore a $2,130 funky floral skirt from Prada, which featured 3D flower embellishments including several stem-style tassels that fell below the hem of the white design. 
She paired the pricey skirt with a form-fitting blue silk button-up that was tucked into the slim fit design and added a pair of simple black pointed toe heels. The White House advisor looked every inch the fashion favourite as she made her way into a meeting on religious freedom, which was held while many other attendees at the General Assembly chose to attend the climate summit, including her father, who stopped into the event for 15 minutes, having previously said he would not attend. The president took a seat at the table as his friend, Prime Minister Narendra Modi of India, addressed the group, which is a priority of the UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres. The world needs to act now, Modi said, as Trump applauded. Trump had come under fire from Democrats and climate activists for his decision not to have the UN Climate Summit on his schedule for the week. The president has expressed skepticism of climate change in the past and at one point called it a hoax created by the Chinese to hurt US manufacturers. Trump scheduled counter-programming on Monday, lining up the religious freedom event for the same time the delegates were meeting to talk about the environment, which is where his daughter was pictured. Ivanka beamed happily as she left the building, even taking the time to flash a wave at the cameras as she made her way to a waiting SUV. Despite the weekend of heavy travel, Ivanka also looked bright-eyed and energetic, modeling a glamorous makeup look and a sleek blow-dry that blew in the breeze to flash a quick peek at her gold hoop earrings. <laughs> Thankfully for Ivanka, her travel schedule on Monday wasn't so quite so awful. In fact, she just had to spend a few minutes in the car before arriving at the Grand Hyatt New York where she started her day by speaking at the Concordia Annual Summit. The event, which is fun, run by non-profit organization Concordia, is a non-partisan forum that runs alongside the UN General Assembly. There, Ivanka spoke to the company's co-founder, chairman and CEO, Matthew A. Swift, about the Trump administration's Women's Global Development and Prosperity Initiative. Thank you.